and welcome to a Bonzolian video. I haven't been getting a whole lot of views on these giant beat videos, but I gotta put them up anyway. Bob was nice enough to drop these babies off so I could show them. We're still gonna do the round table, I swear to God. I just figured it might be a little awkward. I don't wanna try it. With George and I and Peisty Bob, the video might be seven hours if I don't do some of this now, okay? So, anyway, here's the deal. This is... Peisty Bob's, one of his favorite 24-inch original giant beats from 1967 to 1971 because it is a white label. No serial number, of course. Giant Beat in white ink would be here. Remember, if you're ever looking for an original Giant Beat, you look for the 3 o'clock Peisty stamp that in the Peisty stamp does not say Giant Beat. All the other embossed stamps of all Peisty lines, with the exception maybe of the first sound creations who use this stamp, say whatever that is. So 2002's Black Label will have 2002 embossed stamp. 505's will have the embossed stamp. 602's will have the embossed stamp that says 602. Giant Beats? No. Anyway, this one's kind of cool because it has the dimple nipple hammering found on the later ones that sometimes you'll see on modern 2002s. I think the Alex Van Halen, this ride <laughs> that he has, the big boy, or the, um, what is it? Reverend Al's big ride has this hammering too. Anyway, so here it is. It weighs in at 3,033 grams which I think is a little heavy compared to the reissues. Again, I think the reissue should offer Giant Beats Peisty, if you're listening, I know you can't stand me, but I gotta do it anyway. I've been doing it for 25 years now. 26, actually. My suggestions. Make a slightly heavier version of the um, reissues, okay? You can call them mediums or whatever you wanna call them. Maybe like 150 grams on the 18, zzz, maybe 200 grams on the 20s, Anyway, so here's the... Now listen to this guy. This is total... Um, listen. Let me get that the hell out of the way. I also have the other giant beats. I have an 18-inch original white label here, the 20-inch here. I'm going to put the hi-hats on. Original pair of Peisty White Label Giant Beats. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna slap, oops. I'm gonna slap those babies out. Slap, ah, slap those babies right up here. Here we go. Where are they? The original. Um, hang on. I'm putting the heavier pair on because a lot of folks chimed in, including Bob, and said they thought the heavier pair of original Giant Beats sounded more rock and rolly. You know, when I listened back to it, I thought so too. So, so hope everybody's Friday's going okay. Some big storms brewing in the Midwest this weekend. Hopefully, people now will take note of possible tornado action. I am Mr. Tornado. When I was a kid, I saw Wizard of Oz. And that tornado that they made on a soundstage, it was converted forever. I said to my father and brother, I'm not kidding, in 1975, Dad, how come there's no tornadoes here? He said, well, some there are sometimes, like the Oak Lawn tornado. Well, I mean, not that, no, wait a minute. I'm not looking for anybody to get killed. But out in fields where there's big tornadoes you can film and check out. I said, well, let's, he said, they're all in Kansas, in Oklahoma. I said, well, let's go to Kansas and this Oklahoma place and see them and take video or take, film them and take pictures. I wish we had. All right, so here we are. So I'm going to demonstrate this full set of original white label giant beats with my rendition of rock and roll. I'm not going to play along to it because it's too fast for me to play along to it. I should have probably limbered up first. I honestly didn't, but I like to keep it real. R-E-E-L. All right, so... Uh,
out of gas. Woo! You know, I'm glad I didn't get that Led Zeppelin tribute gig, because I don't think I would have been able to play three hours of this. <coughs> are they in Piesty Giant Beatville. You know what would be really neat if Piesty reissued a set of actual, like, reissue, like, what am I trying to say? Original Giant Beats. Like the actual Giant Beat shape. You know they have the bell shape and everything. The press and everything of the old days. God knows they used it at least a 99% facsimile of it on the 505s, 2000s, 3000s. I just made like a set of like a hundred of them. White labels and all. Yes, sir? Nice. Let's do the bell a little. <laughs> <laughs> 